he's ignoring me. Burke, hurry up and finish that cooking, Burke. I'm bored. Ah, lovely. Right for you, enjoying yourself in the kitchen. Core old bony don't half go on sometimes. Okay. Oi. Burke, Burke, how about Got you? trip into the swamp? Oh, shut up, Boney. Perhaps. Oh, I do wish something exciting would happen. Oh, I say, it's that big pink thing again. What was his name? Rog, that's it. Rog. Hello, Rog. And how are things with you, old chap? I must say it's... Hello, Boney. Let's go out and play. Gone for it. He must have dozed off. Well, at least now I can finish me cooking in peace. Right, what I need now is some old utensil to bash me pancake flat with. I know. I'll use Boney while he's asleep. Oh, here we are, Boney. I say, I haven't been up here before. Oh, my word. We're very high up. I like it up here. Well, it makes a pleasant change. <laughs> oh, a bit chilly, though. We can hide from Burke up here. Why do you want to hide from Burke? He's quite a nice chap, really. He's very fond of me. Where's that stupid skull gone? Useless lump of bone. I wonder where he's got to, then. <laughs> Tony's been kidnapped. Oh, yes. I've rescued Burke from all sorts of monsters in my time. Poor old Boney. I expect he's been terrorized by some hideous monster. Better go and get him back, I suppose. I think. There was one monster so disgusting. I... Frightful big thing with green lumps. Oh. It was terrifying. I don't know where that daft old bone bonds would be without me. Boney? I can't see him, Drut. What? Ah! Hey, Boney, what are you doing up there? Boney? Very nasty. Hello, Burke. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. There Stop your jabbering and come down off there. The thing came out of the trap door. He had the biggest teeth I've ever seen. Anyway, I soon sorted that thing out. Oh, I've seen all sorts. Nasty, slimy, dribbly things. Horrible. I say, he's dropped off. Oh, come on, Boney. I haven't got time to stand up. Anyways, I was saying, oh. I see this horrible creature. Here. Hello, Burke. Doesn't Boney talk a lot? You don't say much, though, do you? It was entirely due to my superior intellect and sharpness of mind that Burke was spared from the same ugly fate. The creature was about to sink his several rows of teeth into my fat blue friend when I called out... 